Hello and welcome again to Fox Comics and Games in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unpacking this week's comic book order for Wednesday, January 20th. Uh, that's when these items will go on sales at 10 a.m. We're going to start this week with some of the stuff, again, that we don't always show, but uh, we're getting more and more requests to show some of the cooler, quirky stuff we get. So this is one of our uh, short comic book boxes. This is the DC Comics uh, Bombshells. Gorgeous, gorgeous box. Plenty of these in stock. Uh, they will be here tomorrow. Uh, then we start off with Captain Marvel. We got several of the uh, uh, Marvel Gallery Captain Marvel figurines. Fantastic. Uh, then from the Batman Bust series, which uh, everyone who's been in Foxes knows we carry all of these. We have uh, the new Dick Grayson, and he comes with the uh, Shakespeare Bust. And then uh, also the Alfred Pennyworth um, those are numbered to 3,000 great little collectibles. Next up, we have uh, from Stanley Lau, also known as Art Germ, uh, some beautiful um, pink and black and white uh, Harley Quinn statues uh, that are very, very nice from DC Collectibles. Uh, from Funko, we have several uh, Funko Pops that came in this week. Uh, probably the most notable, or at least Mr. Fox's favorite, is Dr. Evil. Uh, then next up, we have some Keychains from Marvel, uh, as you can see from the uh, X-Men logo. And then we have uh, more foam magnets from the Harry Potter people, including Hedwig and uh, Hagrid. And then next up from the Marvel Gallery series, we have um, the part of their Infinity War statue series, we have the Doctor Strange uh, figure. And from the DC Gallery, we have uh, the Justice League uh, series, and it is Cyborg from that series and so very very cool lots of neat stuff that you don't normally see on our videos and we're going to go right to the comic books uh, to get started today we're going to start with dc brings us issue 1007 of action comics and fantastic cover on that uh the variant cover as you can see for issue 1007 and then next up from uh marvel we have Amazing Spider-Man issue 14. And then we have some of the, uh, we have the variants, uh, the Conan variants, and also the Guardians of the Galaxies. Um, Marvel has several series going with their variants currently, and uh, some of them are quite intriguing. Next up, also from Marvel, we have issue 13 of the Avengers. And a really lucky thing that are loin cloth didn't move or we would all be in trouble and then from dc we have issue 31 of batgirl looks pretty sassy but probably um our cover of the week we have to tell you just right up front is the batgirl issue 31 variant just fantastically done beautiful cover everything is wonderful about it except maybe her hand her hand that seems to have a little issue with it but i don't know I can't really criticize that. Whoever you are calling the store, we will get back to you at the end of the video. Uh, next up from DC is issue 28 of Batman Beyond. And as we always do, the variant covers, that's issue 28, Batman Beyond variant. Then from Marvel, we have issue four of Black Panther versus Deadpool. Gorgeous cover on that. And then, as we always do, we show the variant cover for uh, that one as well. Black Panther versus Deadpool, uh, issue four. Then next up from Valiant Publishing, which if you're not reading Valiant, you're really missing out because Valiant is kicking some tails, folks. I'm telling you, they're kicking tails. Uh, we have issue three of Bloodshot, Rising Spirit. And if you have pre-ordered that and it is on your uh, pull list here at Fox's, you will be receiving this issue, which is... The same content with just a few extra pages for the same amount of money. That's their pre-order bundle. But really, really, really nice value from Valiant. Then up from Boom Studios, we have uh, Colin Bunn's Bone Parish. And that is issue six, uh, Making Drugs from Dead People's Bones. Uh, really pretty wild. And uh, then we have from Vertigo, issue four, from the Sandman Universe, Books of Magic. Uh, really kind of an intriguing tale. Uh, pretty neat so far. 
Uh, Marvel is up next with issue seven of Captain America. And uh, kind of a great cover on that as well. Certainly should have been in our top five, but uh, we've been told to start limiting our top five to only five. So we had to bump that one this week. So from Dark Horse Publishing, we have issue three of Crimson Lotus. And then from Marvel, we have issue three of Dead Man Logan. And then from DC, we carry issue 997, only three away, folks, of Batman Detective. And I think that's part of their misery and miracles. Uh, and then, as we always do, uh, issue 997 variant cover for Batman Detective. Uh, another watershed moment in comic book publishing, issue 400. It's actually issue 10, but it's the total issue 400 of uh, Doctor Strange. And uh, they brought Mark Wade aboard to uh, do that, and it looks like it ought to be pretty sassy. And again, then we have the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy variant cover for Doctor Strange issue 10. And we have yet another variant cover. And then one of our top five covers of the week, a third variant of Doctor Strange issue 10. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. Next up from Marvel, we have Exiles issue 12. And then, uh, again, another highly anticipated launch of a new title this week that people have been waiting anxiously for. Uh, Fight Club, Volume 3, and that is Issue 1. And it looks to be pretty sassy. Not that we've kind of been looking at it, but uh, it looks to be pretty sassy. And we have uh, variant covers for it as well. That's one of the variant covers. And another variant cover there. And then another one of our top five covers of the week. Uh, this particular variant cover, looking through the keyhole, uh, is pretty wicked. Uh, and so we put it in our top five covers of the week. Uh, next up from DC, we have issue 63 of The Flash. And they're promising the secrets of the Speed Force. And then another one of our top five covers of the week the variant cover for issue 63 of The Flash. And then very undc-like uh, in a, I think, kind of a weird move, uh, we also have The Flash Annual number two releasing this same week. So for those of us reading Flash, it's a lot of Flash for one week. Next up from DC, we have issue five of Heroes in Crisis. This has been a fantastic run. If you're not reading it, put down your Valiant and go buy this instead because you need to read this first and then get back onto the Valiant. But it has been phenomenal and a uh, beautiful and provocative Jason Todd murdered uh, variant cover for that. Uh, next up from DC Vertigo. Uh, Vertigo is where DC puts some of their more adult-themed stuff and uh, no exception to that rule is issue four of Hex Wives. Really, really uh, rounding out to be a pretty interesting story and enjoyable so far. So if you haven't jumped onto that, you've still got time. It's only issue four. Uh, then from Image, those of us that have been reading this have loved this, The Ice Cream Man. Uh, and that is issue nine. Really, really cool. Uh, great story. Uh, Marvel is up next with issue 12 of The Immortal Hulk. Image Publishing is up next, and they bring us issue four of Infinite Dark. And then Oni Press is up next with issue 39 of Invader Zim, just because. Then Dynamite Publishing brings us issue three of Ian Fleming's James Bond 007, written by Greg Pak. Really a good story, well done, well put together. Uh, next up from Archaea Publishing, Jim Henson's Labyrinth, Coronation, Issue 10. Um, that is out this week as well. And also, um, from DC, we have Justice League, Annual Number 1, is out this week. As is DC's Issue 5 of Justice League Odyssey. 
and then as we always do, the variant covers for Justice League Odyssey, and that is fantastic. And then next up we have from Titan Comics, uh, issue three of Life is Strange, and Mr. Fox proves that every day. Then from Image Publishing, we have issue five of Maneaters. Whoa, whoa, there she goes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. All right. Then from Alterna Comics, we have issue one of Midnight Mystery. Uh, also one of our top five covers, just for the noir feel to it. Looks really, really sassy. And then next up, we have from Boom Studios, issue 35 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And as we always do, we should like to show off the variant covers for those because they always do a great job. Beautiful variant cover on issue 35 of the Power, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And then up next from Marvel is issue 37 of Ms. Marvel. And then DC is up next with part four of five of their miniseries, Old Lady Harley. And I think that's who Mr. Fox married, if I remember correctly, but that's a whole nother story. And then we have another launch this week that we are quite excited about uh, from Kieran Gillen, who's written Uber and Wicked and Divine and a million great books. Uh, a new launch for Dynamite Publishing called Peter Cannon Thunderbolt. And um, this is a look at the main cover and the variant covers, um, which that one is actually in our top five covers of the week. That was voted in our top five. And then we have that one, and then we have the retailer thank you black and white version of that one. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Then from Marvel, we have issue seven of The Punisher. Speaking of who Mr. Fox married. Um, and then also from Dark Horse Comics, we have issue six of The Quantum Age, which is from the world of Black Hammer. So those of you who've been reading Jeff Lemire's Black Hammer, that ties in very, very nicely. Uh, DC is up next with issue 12 of a 12-part miniseries. So this will be the last Raven, Daughter of Darkness. Uh, for a while from DC, so that is that book right there. And then next up from Image Publishing, we have issue 10 of Redlands. Oni Press brings us issue 46 of Rick and Morty. IDW and Oni Press bring us issue 4 of Rick and Morty and Dungeons and Dragons. DC is up next. They bring us issue 13 of The Silencer. Then Boom Studios is up next with issue 4 of 5 total of a beautifully drawn and really a nice story uh, book uh, they've been putting out called Sparrowhawk. Really pretty sassy little story. Uh, Image is up next with issue 293 of Todd McFarlane's Spawn. Those of us that remember buying that book when it first came out, it's hard to imagine that we're almost at issue 300. Uh, Marvel is up next with issue 45 of Spider-Man Deadpool. IDW is up next uh, with a one-shot comic uh, of Star Trek The Next Generation 2020. Looks like Jean-Luc Picard with hair, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, then we have, uh, next up, from also from IDW, Star Trek The Q Conflict, Issue 1. And then from Marvel, we have Star Wars, Dr. Aphra, Issue 28. Also from Marvel, we have Star Wars Solo, uh, Issue 4 of that. Then from DC, another annual, we have Teen Titans, annual number one. Great cover on that in our top five covers of the week. Uh, then next up, also from DC, we have The Terrifics, promising that you can meet the dreadfuls, and that is issue 12. IDW is up next with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 
Urban Legends, issue 9. One of the cooler releases this week and a runner-up for our cover of the week. We just couldn't put the glasses on to see how cool it was to make it number one. Uh, but a great idea and a really neat comic to come out this week. Uncanny 3D X-Men and uh, comes with the 3D glasses. That looks phenomenal. But we can't tell because we can't put the glasses on because they're trapped in the plastic. So, Next up from Marvel, we have issue 12 of Weapon H. And that took a long time to prepare and so that you could see the Preparation H. So that they had to use that to get ready for Weapon H. <clears throat> Next up, they can't all be winners, folks. Uh, next up from Image, we have <laughs> Witchblade. Uh, and this is issue 11 of Witchblade. And then next up from DC, one of Mr. Fox's favorites, Wonder Woman, issue 63. Thank goodness. And uh, a runner-up to cover of the week, obviously in our top five, the variant cover for Wonder Woman 63. Uh, and then from Boom Studios, we have WWE Forever, issue one. And then from uh, Dark Horse, we have Word, issue one. Marvel brings us issue two of X-Force. And then, as we always do, the beautiful variant cover of X-Force issue two. That looks like this week's order as we got it in from uh, Diamond today. These products will be on the shelf and for sale at 10 a.m. tomorrow on Wednesday, January 30th. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you.